So how do beard products have to do with health? Okay, well, I'll tell you. There's an interview with the last man on Earth star, um, what was his name? He did McGruber, he was on Saturday Night Live a very short amount of time. Uh, he was on Conan O'Brien and played uh, Ted Turner all the time. Um, drawing a blank. Anyways, some of his stuff I thought was pretty funny. I liked the first couple of seasons of Last Man on Earth, but then it just got too dark and morbid, and uh, don't want to spoil it for you, but a lot of people ended up dying. <laughs> it got really annoying. Anyways, that guy, his name will come to me in a second, I'm sure. Um, they did a beard test of the things that were found in his beard, and they found... Uh, old food matter. They found they f uh, stuff that could um, just bad bacteria. They found fecal matter. They found all kinds of bad stuff in their beard. So taking care of your beard, if you have a beard, is very important to your health. Uh, it's basically like a first defense. It's a it becomes an air filter for you, honestly. So <clears throat> I have made my own beard oils plenty of times. I probably for prefer that sometimes. Um, you really just go buy a dropper. I suggest amber because it's the best best color for preserving what's inside. This is empty. I've used this up or whatever. But um, you just get an amber bottle. This is a one ounce size. You add 15 to 20 drops of your own essential oil that you desire, and use a carrier oil like uh, argon oil. This is my fave, fave favorite. Or get like some almond oil, sweet almond, uh, that would be the way to go. There's other carriers out there you could use, but those two would probably be some of my most favorite, and by far argon oil is my favorite, because you can use it for your hairs, your skin, your face, wherever. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> moving on to some of these products, the Badger Beard Balm, I really like this, this is probably best if you've got a longer beard and need a little bit more manageability. And then the beard oil would be great if you got a shorter beard. But you can dry it out, see what works best for you. That's my general suggestions. Um, I've used a bunch of different beard combs. Uh, generally don't go with plastic. I don't like it because the plastic beard combs end up building up static a lot. A lot, a lot. So a wood comb is probably my favorite. This is a Con Air Man wood comb that, as you can see, broke on me. I don't know if it's just because I live in a dry climate, but yeah, these are not the best quality. Don't really like this. There's a metal one that is static free somehow, and I had that for a long time. I just misplaced it right now. I'm not sure where it's at right now. This still works. Uh, I did glue it together a couple of times, if you can see the glue on there, but yeah, overall I'm not all that big of a fan of this brush anymore. And then my local barber that I've been to a couple of times sells these Ranger beard combs. I didn't like this because it's too wide tooth. That wide tooth is okay for like right after the shower and to get out tangles and to go very slow and smooth through your beard after you dry it and stuff. But overall, this is crap. I don't like it. It, it doesn't work. It just sits in my, my cabinet, basically. Um, this was a newer one that I just recently got. It was only like seven bucks on Amazon, the Hurricane Barber, and it had sandalwood scent. This comb is the best. Like I said, this fine or this wide tooth is great for going through it the first time. If you notice, it's still not as wide as that one. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. But anyways, this... For me, I've got a bit of a curlier beard, and fine tooth comb is best for my beard, for the straightening, for manageability, for helping it lay in the position that I want it to. And this has definitely been the best, most sturdy beard comb. It's pretty thick. Uh, it had a sandalwood scent. That's pretty classy, right? And that kind of rubbed off. It doesn't smell so much like that anymore, which is fine with me. Um... But I thought it funny that they wanted to throw that. It's kind of a gimmick, I think. Um, but the other thing is, you want to get a real beard wash. 
some type of beard shampoo that's specific for washing your beard because other shampoos can strip the oils and strip your face of the oils that it needs for good health. And I've been using this, surprisingly, this, this is at Target. Target is way ahead of the game on beard stuff right now. There's tons of beard grooming, beard options, and I like the smell. This has got a really refreshing, fresh, wake up in the morning kind of smell. Um, wow, that's tripping out, huh? There's maybe not the best ingredients, uh, but this actually is not too bad. I haven't had any problems with the fragrance being one of the last ingredients. I usually would avoid stuff like this, but this is just one that I tried and it's, it just takes a very small amount for me and my beard actually. So yeah, those are a lot of the beard products that I have that I really like. The, there's a badger mustache wax, which can really help for helping your mustache lay where you want it to lay, basically. But yeah, this Badger Balm can help keep a hold for a bit longer, and they both smell really good. I like both of them. I've only really had one or two people in a long time ever say they didn't like the smell of it, and it wasn't like I had it on me and I was like, here, smell my beard. No, it was in store, showing it to people, just saying, check this out, you got a beard, you need something. So anyways, uh, that's about it for this, guys. I hope you guys found it interesting, and check out my other videos for other natural health things. And thanks, guys. The best thing you could do is probably share this. Uh, maybe somebody's birthday's coming up, and you're, they got a beard. You're wondering if there's a beard product out there that's right for them. I'll have the links in the description. There'll be affiliate links, which help support my channel. No big deal. Click on them or don't. Don't care. I'm still going to make this stuff. Thanks, guys. Stay healthy.